We have Jonathan Caves next. John is going to talk about generic lambdas because in C++ you can never escape from the past. And he knows this full well because he works on the Visual C++ compiler team. <laughs> okay. Do you have your dongle there? Yes. Surface, team surface here. This is 15 minutes. There we go. The title of this is taken from, sorry, I wonder, I mustn't <laughs> wonder. The title of this is taken from uh, Raymond Chen's blog, the old new, new thing, I just changed it around, around a bit, and also from a blog I find on, online, which was titled Fun with, La with La Lambdas. I've spent most of the last year working with both generic la lambdas and va uh, uh, variadic generic la lambdas, and once I have it wor had it wor working, I was looking for fun examples of people doing stuff with this. And when I went out onto the web, I find a guy called Su uh, Sumant Tambay, who's down in the Bay er area, had written this three-piece blog post called Fun with La Lambdas. And I looked, looked, looked at it and thought, oh, wow, that's fun. I wonder if we can compile that. That is the code. It's scary for first first thing in the morning, but what it's doing is it's a, a nested a generic la, 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 lambda called list, which returns a generic la, lambda. Another generic lambda called map, which when you apply it to a list, goes over the elements of the list and applies a function to each element of the list. And then a simple generic la, la, uh, lambda called print, which prints out a, va a value. So you put them together at the, bo the bottom, and you create a list. You apply map to, to the list, and map applies print to each of the, the, uh, the, the, the elements of the list. And I was very happy that when uh, I compiled that, it showed one bug, and it fixed, fixed that, and the code ran. So it was nice. So uh, Sumat, in his blog, posted that he tried the example with Clang. And as you'd expect from seeing the code, the output is one, two, three, four. He tried it with G, 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 GCC, and he got four, three, two, one. Now, as we all know, there are no bugs in Clang. It's obvious that G, G, uh, G, GCC is the one with the bug. And that's what he said in his, his blog. And his deduction was the bug is in the order that the pack expansion is stored inside the la lambda. If you go back to the example here, where you can see the pack expansion, the, the inner la la lambda expands the pack. And it also captures by, by, va by value, which means that the expanded form is captured by, by, by value. And he assumed that G uh, G GCC was switching the, the order there. So we compiled it and ran it, and I got four, three, two, one. So there's two compilers are agreeing, and one compiler is not agreeing. So where's the bug now? <laughs> Except if you target ARM with our compi 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 com compiler, and in that case, you get one, two, three, four. At this point, I was ready to phone up the uh, the. Uh, John, John Spicer at the e e EDG and just ask, well, John, what's the right answer to this? <laughs> <laughs> can, can we have a casting vote, please? Uh, so, yeah, what is the correct output? What is the bug? What is going on here? Because this, it's a very simple piece of code. It's very clean. It's very nice. But compilers cannot agree on what the, uh, the output should, should be. If you look at it closely, the issue is with this line here, where you take the list and you apply func to the, the, the elements. You, because this is func functional, you end up returning a list, but you apply func to the, the, the elements. Inside the compi com 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 compiler, if you expand the pack, you end up with that line there of the print. And I've added the uh, numbers there, so just you can see that you know, we said print z, z, z1, which is 1, print 2, print 3, print, 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 print 4. It looks clean. It looks clear. What's wrong? The new old thing, we are right back in C. 
uh, the original C sta sta standard, the order of a val valuation of the postfix expression and the arguments to a, fu a function call is not specified. A compiler is free to execute this code in any order it thinks is best. And given x86 architecture, the way that all compilers prefer to do it is to go left to, to left to right, because that way they'll do the last one first, and then they do the first one last. That saves you a couple of instru instru instructions, because you evaluate, push, evaluate, push, evaluate, push, call. It's faster, but it ends up getting the result wrong. Well, not wrong, unspecified, but you try persuading your uh, uh, user that printing the, uh, the result for 4321 is correct, and they will probably stop you using your, pro your product. Yeah. <laughs> this happens a a elsewhere in C++, C++ and these cases are probably a bit, at least the first case is probably very, very well, well, well known, you know. You're using i twice within, within the expre ex expression. What is the resulting va va value? Is it, in, is it v0 in, initialized to 1, or is it v1 is it initialized to 1? You, don't, you don't, don't know. The next one is a bit r rarer. I don't know many people who have complained about, about this. But if you start using uh, lambdas, if f1 actually happens to be a, la a lambda, you do see, see, see this. And the problem is that to the back end, the optimizer, the f1 expression on, on the left of the arrow is just really the first arg arg argument to the, fun the function. It just moves it across and puts it onto the head as the argument. So again, it does f2 first and then f1. This has bitten me in the last few months. Imagine f1 is a function which says, go get me the current uh, lambda you're, wor you're working with, okay? The function M mf says, go and please walk the body of the, la the lambda, looking for any implicit cap cap uh, captures. Okay, f2 then it goes off and gathers up the, bo the bo body. The body has a nested la lambda in it. It updates the stack, the vector of lambda pro processors. It then calls f f1, which gets the nested lambda, not the one in the the the, the outside. So you end up writing. You end up what you do in cases like 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 this is you always end up writing more code to spread things th th things out. But if you look, remember the example at the beginning, if I just fly back to it, if you start messing with this, you lose a lot of the cleanliness of the code, it ends up being, it'll become much more complicated. You'll, you'll twiddle with this, you'll twiddle with that, you'll add some, something here, some maybe some template meta pro, 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 programming, and a couple of days you have a std, 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 std pair, which is my example of, you know, how hard can I, how much code can you need to store two things, you know, <laughs> really. So can we fix this? Is there a solution? And the solution is you fix the order of evaluation. We say C and C++ until now have been wrong. We are going to say that compilers must do it in left to right order. Uh, there's possible, but there are impl implications to this. The code, unless you're on x86, will be slightly uh, slow, uh, slower. I think most applications wouldn't uh, notice, you know, given the amount of time it takes to go and get something from main, main mem uh, memory, an, an extra push is not going to cause you much tr tr uh, trouble. But for some apps, this may be too, too, too much. It also will change beha beha behavior. Maybe there are people who are very happy that the code prints, prints out for, for Four, three, two, one. That that's what what they want. Now they're going to get the reverse behavior. People, you know, people have lived with lived with this, have adapted their code to it, and are per, per, uh, per, uh, perfectly ha uh, happy. Herb uh, Sutter is 
uh, pushing for the committee to fix this for C, C plus uh, 17. He feels this has been a wart, which has been around for too, 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 too long. But the worry is that it is going to cause trouble. So can I have a show of hands? Who thinks we should fix this? Okay. Who thinks we shouldn't? OK, 50, 50. That is going to be a really fun uh, meeting. <laughs> so that's that. Five, five, five. I'm, I'm done as well. Here's some time, time, time back. OK. I've got, oh, questions.